Hi, I'm Shivani Mayer for Sense TV and I'm here at London's most prestigious fashion event of the year, London Fashion Week, here at London's Natural History Museum. And I'm here to see one of the growing features of London Fashion Week, Aesthetica, here for Sense TV. Let's go and check it out. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, melt, upgrade it, charge it, point it, zoom it, press it, snap it, work it, quick, erase it, write it, cut it, paste it, save it, load it, check it, quick, rewrite it, plug it, play it. Inside London Fashion Week here at the Exhibition Centre at the entrance of Aesthetica, which is really exciting. Quite excited to speak to all the designers. Let's go on through to speak to the official sponsors of Aesthetica. We've got Gillian here from Monsoon, one of my favourite shops actually. How are you? Hello, I'm good, thank you. Good, good. So tell us a little bit about why Monsoon have decided to sponsor such a fantastic event. Well, Monsoon's history started with the chairman and founder, Peter Simon, travelling overland through Afghanistan to India. Upon his arrival, he discovered lots of natural products and wanted to bring them back to the UK. And that happened 35 years ago. This, this year is actually our birthday. So Monsoon, over the years, has been part of the Ethical Trading Initiative. We sell fair trade products in both Accessorize and Monsoon. We're growing our fair trade and organic range. And we thought it would be appropriate to encourage other designers and smaller companies into the market um, by sponsoring the space. So we're here at um, Aesthetica, London Fashion Week. Explain to us how you got into Green Knickers. Um, well, Green Knickers started, I'm, I'm a designer and I, I started designing um, knickers based on my own, uh, my own kind of principles of uh, have a bit of fun, but you know, mostly about uh, being ethical, good quality, ethical, um, organic uh, clothing. Uh, my background's in fashion and business um, and I've worked in sort of mainstream fashion for a while and uh, obviously been friends with Sarah for ages and I really wanted to do something else. I was a bit bored by mainstream fashion, it didn't really have much meaning so Green Knickers was a sort of perfect, uh, perfect thing for me to get involved in. <laughs> for those who probably heard for the first time the word Green Knickers and the fact that it's ethical, does that mean it's made of things like grass? <laughs> or explain to me what the ethical reason behind Green Knickers is. Well, um, the ethics runs uh, the whole way along the supply chain. So, from the people who grow the cotton, who make the knickers, uh, the knickers are made from, to the people who uh, dye the, the fabric, who sew the sew the clothes, the way that the clothes are shipped, and then obviously the relationship between the people who finally uh, buy the clothes and and, uh, and their knickers. Um, so, so basically, our not only do just is nobody harmed along the entire stretch of our supply chain, but actually lives are improved, and uh, you know, from the people who grow the cotton to the people who you know wear really comfy, lovely knickers. And is there a demand for that? Are you finding sort of as, as a business element, it's a great concept, but are people buying your knickers? Yeah, definitely. I think um, the thing about ethical fashion is sometimes it can be a bit depressing, sometimes it, it's lots of serious issues, but I think it's a really nice and fun way for people to get involved in ethical fashion and you can buy it as a gift as well. So if you know anyone green, it's a great gift. <laughs> and we've got quite a cool designer all the way through I mean there's some great designers all the way along here and you can see some of the fantastic outfits I might have to purchase a few later on but we're here at Noir which is a very cool looking um, designer label and we're here with Simon hi how are you I'm very well how are you very good very very good 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 now Noir sounds very sexy and the outfits look very sexy as well but it's ethical so explain to me how a Noir is an ethical um, designer label well, actually, uh, the whole idea is that we want to be sexy while being uh, ecological. Uh, we do uh, eco in, in many sort of different ways, actually. Uh, first of all, all of our cotton is African and organic. We're actually right now setting up our own cotton farm in Uganda, in Africa, where we want to create a sustainable business down there, where we uh, not only uh, cater uh, to ourselves, uh, make cotton for ourselves, but also uh, to sell on to other high-end luxury brands. And uh, we are beginning to harvest soon down there, so we hope that that project will be in the runnings within a few seasons now. And why why has that been important for Noir to, to take on this sort of ethical stance in regards to fashion? 
Well, I think it's uh, it's sh it should really be an important thing for every brand now. Uh, we want to go in there and show that you can create a sustainable business without having to be a, a charity f foundation or anything. That it's it's really you can make a profitable profitable business while having uh, while doing things with a conscience, really. And we want to prove this, and we want to stand apart from a lot of the, the stereotypical uh, eco brands which only create complete cotton collections and maybe has a, the sort of hippie-ish reputation. We want to be out there and create high fashion, sexy designs, use different materials and, and still be an eco collection. So it's time for me to sign out here at London Fashion Week 2008 at the Natural History Museum. It's time for me to go and get myself some seriously sexy ethical fashion items. Here for Sense TV 2008 London Fashion Week. Hi go!